Ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hat. Without further ado, it's the Morning Gardeners Show. Look at all that steam coming from that can. Decomposing compost. I'm breaking it in the can, and it's steaming everywhere. I mean, look at that. It's getting hot. This pile's getting hot. I better get this pile down. Look at that steam. Hope this camera's picking it up. All right. Okay, this is day three of the 20,000 20, pound pile, which you can see is getting very small. Thanks to this gentleman here to help me out. <laughs> All right, he helped me out with the uh, pile there. And uh, you can see there's a lot smaller than it was originally. So um, I'm gonna take you up to the back here. We're gonna show you where I'm putting it in certain locations. Give you a better idea of what I'm doing. Drive up. Oh, now I'm gonna walk up. Oh, okay. Wait, let me take the keys out. Just come back. This will be gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Cause I don't have any shots of me actually walking. Okay, this this section here is gonna be filled in. It's about a foot from the um, from the wall. That's gonna be filled in. This one, that's one small garden I'm gonna use for uh, maybe planting some herbs or whatever. Over here is another new garden patch. This right here is gonna be. Um, uh, another new garden. This is going to be my third largest right here. And as you can see right here, I got um, these trees here. That's uh, Those are plums. That's blackberry. These two here are two different kinds of um, uh, pear trees. And then we go up further here. As I said earlier, this is my Red Haven peach. Uh, this right here is my Georgia peach. Now, let's take a look at this tree that it broke during the storm. See that right there? That could fall on my trees. And so I don't know if uh, that's going to damage my um, apple trees in front of it. And so, but uh, I'm going to get with some of my neighbors and see how we can come up with an idea to take it down so it don't destroy those trees. But let's go further back here to the, to the, the uh, third garden here. Still waiting on uh, my trees to be delivered. This hole here is where it will go into. And those, those right there are peach trees. This right here is a hole waiting for another tree. That's going to be a uh, um, cherry tree. This is another small cherry tree that was put in recently. I say about two months ago. This one here was put in about six months ago. It's doing really well. Now with the wood chips on it, it's going to get better moisture, better nutrition. Also in here, is going to, it's, all this is a new garden. Over here is a new garden. These are my blackberries, and so I'm going to plant in between these blackberries. And let's go back here to, come on folks, let's go back here to my main garden here. Now, here's where, uh, did we both get stuck in this one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the tractor got stuck over here. But I'm piling this up right here, because what I'm going to do is uh, eventually spread it all out. But I'm going to get it about six inches deep. That's the, uh, the uh, depth that I'm looking for all the way around. Uh, but let's go over here for a second. The garden's going to come across here okay and then I'm gonna fill all this in back here where I'm walking all this is gonna fill in all we got is A pear tree. This is a uh, Bartlett. And this one here, my pride and joy. Don't want it. Don't want to record me falling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This right here is a um, Duchess. This is the sweetest uh, pear on earth. Now, one thing about you and your family, y'all don't have to worry about fruit once these things get going. Because I will bring it over personally. No, let me show you this real quick. Okay. Now look. See what we're walking on here. These are the wood chips we just put down. This will help the soil. And one thing about it is compaction is no longer an issue. You can walk on this stuff and it won't hurt the soil at all. And, and right here, this is the first bed I did. This is all garlic. This is the second bed I did. This is all garlic. Right here, 
in this row right here that looks like brown leaves right here, all this is uh, onions. These are white onions. And we, we still have the, um, the uh, what are these right here, uh, mustard greens. They are doing pretty well. Yeah. They're doing real good. Yeah. And now let's take the last shot over here. This is over here. And all of this over here is going to be done. And up here, and that's it. All right, folks. This is yours truly, the Morning Gardener. Looking forward to uh, my next episodes, like I said before, spring, summer, and fall garden information I'm going to have ready for you so that you can do this. Once you set this garden up, you do not have to do any more work as, as watering every week and fertilizing that sort of thing. So keep in tune to the Morning Gardener.